Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. And this next video is an order that I got from eBay. I feel like I'm yelling, but my ear is all plugged up, so I apologize if I am. Just turn the volume down. So, I had been watching uh, Black Lab Lover 9, Jen, who is just sweet as can be, and she was raving about this product on QVC, and I had to wait for a while. I was on, I was on the wait list, and um, I got an email saying that it had shi shipped. I almost said shifted. Shipped, but it is the It Cosmetics by Jane Kern Airbrush Illuminizer Poreless, Poreless Finish HD Illuminizer. And it's a powder. It was $38. And this is what the container looks like. I think it's a plastic jar. And then it has that rubberized, you know, like NARS Cosmetics top, which I don't like because they get dirty and then they don't look nice. I'd rather it just be smooth, but that's okay. I mean, it's makeup. Who cares, really? So here's the cap. And inside it comes with a little powder puff and a sifter jar and it comes with the brush in the kit so here's the brush and it's kind of powdery because I used this today and it comes in this nice protective um, plastic container and here's the brush and it says It Cosmetics by Jane, Jamie Kern, Innovative Technolo Technology Cosmetics. Brush is very soft. Um, it's dense, but it's not stiff. I'd say it's a medium density. But what you do is you tap a little of the powder, just like Bare Minerals, into your cap swirl it around, tap off the excess, and then you put it on your skin. Now I put this on this morning, and I'm kind of on the fence about it. Um, I think that it made my pores look bigger. I think it emphasized my pores. It's supposed to give you like a, a flawless finish. So I'm not sure yet how I feel about it. If you guys can see a difference in my skin, let me know, please. I mean, it's fine, and maybe it's better for somebody who's younger, but I don't know. It's okay. Um, and I remember those of you who know Sandy uh, Thelma Lou, she used to have a channel on YouTube, and for some reason she gave it up, unfortunately. Sandy, we miss you. Please come back. Uh, she used to talk about the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and she loved that so much. So... It was $38 and then whatever the shipping was, and it's okay. I don't know. I don't know that I really see that much of a difference in my skin. So, if you guys have any questions or want any more info about this, let me know. Again, it was on QVC, and I had to get it on the wait list and we'll see so that's it for that and then I wanted to uh, show you guys I redid my nails yesterday after my colonoscopy and this time I used I did my um, OPI matte nail envy as my base coat and then I used the wet and wild mega last I have to get my glasses back on I need a refreshment polish in 218A. And I either got this at Fred Meyer or at Walmart for $1.99. And this has the really nice salon style brush, the thick brush. I only used one coat of this. And then I used my Wet n Wild. Oh, I'm sorry, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Polish in Disco Ball. I love this glitter polish. I think it's so pretty. It just 
it has all different colored glitters. I can see green and purple and gold and pink and all different colored glitters. So Disco Ball 09, love this one. And um, then I have a coat of my Sesh Vite Fast Dry Top Coat. And then I put a second coat just here at the tips because that's where, of course, I, I wear my polish down the fastest. But seriously, you guys, if you want your polish to stay on longer, use some glitter. Now, you don't have to put it all over the nail if you don't want to, or you don't have to use it at all, of course. Or you could just do kind of like a, a French manicure with just a little stripe of it up here at the tip to help protect your polish. But I got so many compliments today um, on this combination. So that's what I used. And... I will be back with another video. These are short and sweet. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye.